Jeff, we were talking about the recent global events that have happened in the light of all of that and the QE tapering that we were talking about. Uh, what is your outlook as far as the Indian markets are concerned? Well, I think uh, the thoughts on the Indian market, emerging markets, they have, as you say, begun to outperform and, and to catch up and make back just a little of the ground that they've lost to the U.S. and European stock markets in the course of 2013. I think the reason for that is that investors can sense that there is an improvement going on in the global economy. PMIs for the four major uh, economies, the Eurozone, the U.S., Japan and China, are now all north of 50 and moving higher. So that, that suggests there is some momentum in the global economy. And it's been uh, the external conditions, really, that have caused the emerging markets to suffer so badly this year. So I think this optimism is there, but um, I, I don't think it's going to trigger uh, immediate strong reflow of uh, funds back into the emerging markets at this point. But we may see uh, uh, no, no more outflows. So what can trigger some amount of uh, inflows coming into the country? What steps should India really be taking to get the investor interest back? Well, I think uh, first, the first point is the Indian markets are good long-term value. They're in the bottom decile of the valuation ranges historically. But there are, are no strong immediate catalysts. Uh, I think it's going to be a very gradual move back in terms of uh, real economic activity. And also inflation is still relatively ingrained. And we would say there's probably one more increase in the repo rates from the RBI under the new governor, Raghuram Rajan. So uh, not really waiting with bated breath in the short term, but uh, certainly this would be a good point for longer term investors to be building up positions for later in 2014. Hello and welcome to Market